गेट ट्वेंटी एटीन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग सेट वन क्वेश्चन थर्टी फाइव द फॉलोइंग डिटेल्स रेफर टू अ क्लोज ट्रेवल्स द नॉर्थिंग साउथिंग ईस्टिंग एंड वेस्टिंग आर गिवेन फॉर फोर कंसिक्यूटिव लाइन्स पी क्यू क्यू आर आर एस एंड एस पी द लेंथ एंड डायरेक्शन इन होल सर्कल बेरिंग ऑफ द क्लोजर नीड्स टू बी फाउंड फोर ऑप्शन हैव बीन गिवेन द रिलिवेंट एंड पीटल रेफरेंस हैज बीन साइटेड सो वेन वी आर गिवेन अ क्लोज ट्रेवल्स लेट एस से ए बी सी डी इन आइडियल कंडीशन ए बी सी डी शुड क्लोज वेयर इट शुड बी ए बी सी एंड डी शुड हैव को इंसाइडेड विथ ए बट समटाइम्स वॉट हैपन्स इज डी डज नॉट को इंसाइड विथ ए इंस्टेड इट फॉर्म्स अ फोर्थ पॉइंट हियर द एरर दैट हैज हैपन इज कॉल्ड अ क्लोजिंग एरर दिस एरर इज यूजली फाउंड बाई इफ यू जूम दिस एरिया ऑफ ए डी इट कैन बी विजुअलाइज एज there will be some error e which will be projected on the latitude axis and the departure axis so the total error can be said as summation of latitude square plus summation of the departure square similarly the theta is given as tan inverse which is this as summation of d by summation of l but this is usually done when we have length and bearing of all the four or five sides but sometimes we may be given the northing southing easting and westing of the four lines in that case what essentially we do is we find the summation of latitude as the northing minus southing here the northing should be taken in positive and southing is taken in negative this would give us the summation of latitudes for all the lines similarly we do summation of departures as easting minus westing so we can see that here the northing would be a plus c and the southing is b plus d similarly easting is e plus g and the westing would be f plus h the thing that needs to be remembered is easting should be taken with a positive sign and westing should be taken with a negative sign once we have the summation of latitude and departure using these two we can find the closing error as summation of latitude whole square plus summation of departure whole square and the angle of closing error can be found as tan inverse of summation of departure by summation of latitude as we saw here so as we can see here we are given with a similar table so first we need to find the summation of latitude that is given as northing minus southing so northing can be seen as 101 and 419 so 101 plus 419 from this we will subtract the southing so southing can be seen here as 437 and 83 since here we are taking directly the minus outside we don't need to take the sign within the brackets this would give out the final value of summation of latitude as 0 we will find the summation of departures as easting minus westing so easting can be seen as 173 plus 558 for lines pq and qr for westing we will consider the lines rs and sp that would be 96 and 634 here the summation of departures would turn out to be 1 using these two values we can find the magnitude of closing error as summation of latitude whole square plus summation of departure whole square this would give out 0 plus 1 that would be 1 and the angle of the closing error will be tan inverse of summation of departure by summation of latitude this would be tan inverse of 1 over 0 which would be tan inverse of infinity we can see that this would turn out to be pi by 2 or 90 degrees so the magnitude of the closing error and the angle of closing error were found as 1 and 90 degree respectively so the length and direction of the closure respectively are 1 and 90 degree which is option a the relevant npt reference has been listed